Hello, this video is intended to help you get started with our statistical software program R and R Studio. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the R webpage and download the correct version of R. So the first thing that I want you to look at is this r-project.org website. This is where you can get some extra help and just learn a little bit more about R if you're interested. So the first thing that you should do is download R onto your own system. So you can click here to press download R. This will take you to the CRAN mirrors page. If you just go straight from our website, our class website, then it'll just take you straight to the download page. If you go from here, then you'll need to go and find the correct CRAN, which is the Oregon State University. Go ahead and click on this and it will take you to the downloading page where you can then install R for Linux, for a Mac or for Windows. So you choose the correct system for what you're using and download R. So once you download R, it'll look something like this, where we have what we call a console window. This is where we can write commands and this is where output will come out. So if we want to know what four plus three is, we can simply put it in and to our command line, press enter and we get then the answer of seven, of course. Now. It's not really a great idea to write our commands into the command or the console because we can't edit them easily. So if we make a mistake, then it's, it's really difficult. If we're just doing four plus three, then it's not a big deal. However, we will be using more complex code than this. So it's a good idea to open up a script window. So you can do file, new script, and here then you can write in your commands, the same type of commands as well. Now to have make this command run, you can highlight it and click here. So run liner section and it'll run your section. But you, or you can, if you'd like, use the short key control R if you're using a PC. And if you're using a Mac, you can use command enter or command return. And it will also run your liner section. You can run several lines of code if you'd like. So you can do five plus four or three times two, or perhaps maybe you'd like to do four to the fifth power. You could run all these at the same time and run the section. And you can get all the answers to the separate line. So each line is then is denoted here with the answer here. So this is how we can use this command line and our script window to see answers and just do basic mathematical calculations. Now, of course, we won't be using this just like this in this class. We'll be using specific commands. So that will be left for a different lesson. But in this lesson, we'll just talk about basic the basics of R so we can see that we have a console window and we have a script window. When we use the basic version of R, like here, if we do graphical displays, it will also pop out a new window. Something that we can also consider is we can see the type of packages that we're using so we can install packages, update packages, we can select the different CRAN mirror, things like that. If we want help, we can do FAQs on R, FAQ on R for Windows, and, and so on. So you can check out these different tabs, you can set up your web, your R preferences a little bit differently so you can get larger font, different colors, things like that. So you can play around with that if you'd like. All right, what I highly recommend is actually we don't use this version of R. Instead, we download what we call R Studio, which is a nicer user interface. So if we go back to our web page and we just Google R Studio or search for it, or we can click on it from our class page, we can go straight to downloading R Studio. Now, R Studio is just a nicer interface, and I really recommend it if you're using a Mac to not use the old version of R to definitely do this second download of R Studio because it'll look exactly like my tutorial videos. All right, so once you get to this page, you can download the correct version of R Studio for you. It is also free, so there's no reason not to do it. So click on R Studio for Mac or R Studio for Windows, whichever you'd like. Then this is what R Studio looks like. So our studio that has a big console window, just like the old version of R, but now we have two separate other windows. We have an environment window, which basically will show us whenever we have a variable that's added in or a data set, which is really nice because then we can easily see what we've uploaded, either a data set or read into our program as a variable or something like that. So this is important. And then we also have 
what I find to be one of the most important is the plot window, which is really nice because then it comes up as its separate window. And we can expand this and make it larger if we'd like. We can look at all the different packages that we have installed or that we would like to install. So this is much easier than the old version of R. We won't be installing a lot of different packages in this course, but it is important if you are going to use R in the future that if you're using different packages, this is a much easier way to do it than writing in the commands. All right, so something else about our studio is that we need to also open up a script window. So just like before, we could write in 4 plus 3 and get the answer of 7 in our console window. But again, we can't really edit nicely in the console window, so we want to open up a script. So we can do that here with this little green plus, do our script, and we can open up then a script window. So if we want to do 4 plus 3 here, then to run this we can simply just have our cursor on this line and press run. And it will come up 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. How about 5 times 2? This should be equal to 10, and sure enough it is. All right, so same, same rules apply here. If you're using a PC, you can do Control R. If you're using a Mac, you can highlight all the lines and do Command Enter or Command Return. So this is a good way that you can use our Studio to then easily use the script, write in the code that you'd like, and then see it into your console console down here. If you want to run in a variable, let's say you want to call it red, this will be equal to the vector 2, 3, and 4. you run in that section, you can see that over here in the global environment, now it's come up, it says you have three elements in this vector, and they are two, three, and four, and it's a numerical variable. So this is a nice way that the global environment, this extra window in our studio, kind of shows you what you're doing in this program. Also, you can do a different plot. So if I want to create a histogram of red, so a plot of red, essentially, then I can see my plot comes up here. Also, really great thing is this help window. So there's a help window. It will show you different help commands. So if I want to do help hist, so I don't know about histograms, I can do help hist, run this, and histograms that function will come up and all the information about that function will come up in the help window. This is exceptionally helpful when you're first learning R to understand what each command will do. So hopefully this video helped you understand how to get started with R and the just basic functions of R and R Studio and the differences between R and R Studio. I highly recommend that you get started right away, download R and then R Studio to be successful using our statistical program.